Hi and welcome to our advanced 3D printer calibration tutorial. Here we shall look at calibration techniques that will help make your prints more dimensionally accurate. These methods involve measuring and calculating step and filament factors that should be applicable to most printers. To start with we shall look at calculating step factors for the X, Y and Z axis of your printer. These will be a measure of how accurate your printer currently is. We shall do this by measuring how far your printer head actually travels with a request to move a set distance. First we attach an accurate rule along the x-axis of the printer. Then we fasten a sharp object such as a needle to the printhead above the rule. We then manually adjust the printhead so that the needle is just above the edge of the rule. Now move the printhead left along its x-axis so that the needle is positioned just above a set marker on the rule, in this case 3 cm. Make a note of the position where the printhead stops. In our case, this is 33.7. Next you need to move the printhead a fixed distance to the right. In our case we are going to move 50mm. But this can be any fixed distance and for accuracy the larger the better. Now as accurately as possible, measure the position the needle has stopped on the rule. Here it is just less than 79.5, so 79.4. We started at the 30mm point, so the printhead has moved 49.4mm when 50mm was requested. We can use this information to calculate the x-axis step factor. To calculate this value, we divide the distance requested by the distance travelled. In our example this is 50 divided by 49.4, giving a result of 1.012. If your printer allows adjustment of the X step setting, you can use this calculated factor to set a more accurate value, simply by multiplying the current set value by this factor. Alternatively, if your printer doesn't allow you to adjust its X step setting, you can use this factor to scale the X dimension in your slicer. Now we need to check that our calibration has been successful. We do this by repeating the travel distance test we performed earlier. We can see that this time the pointer has stopped dead on the 8cm marker, showing that the print head has moved exactly 50mm. Success! Now we need to repeat these calculations for the Y and Z axis. This time we attach the rule and the needle along the Y axis and perform exactly the same tests and calculations as before, except this time measuring movement in the Y axis.
hopefully this will result in an accurate check like so. Again we perform the same tests but this time by measuring movement in the z-axis. Once we have calibrated our z-axis, our z-axis movement check should now be more accurate. Now we have calibrated the x, y and z-axis, remembering to save any settings, we need to calibrate the extruder in a similar way. We do this by measuring how much filament is passed through the extruder given a specific extrude command. First we mark a known point on the filament a fixed distance away from the extruder, in our example 150mm. We then manually request the extruder to extrude 100mm of filament. When this is completed, we now measure how far our mark is away from the extruder. In our case, this is 42mm, which means 108mm of filament has actually been extruded. In the same way as we calculated the steps factor, we can calculate the extrusion factor by dividing the distance requested by the distance travelled to get a figure by which we can multiply our e-step setting or our slice of flow rate. Once we have calculated and configured our new settings, we can then rerun our extrusion test. This time it should extrude exactly 100 millimeters of filament. One more consideration in ensuring your prints are dimensionally accurate is the effect of your filament. Some filaments contract more than others when cooling, and this needs to be taken into account. This can be achieved by printing out a calibration cube in your chosen filament. Here we have printed a 20mm calibration cube. By measuring the X, Y and Z dimensions of this cube, we can see how much it differs from that requested. Here our dimensions are just under 20mm, so we can calculate a scaling factor as previously shown, in order to adjust the scale of our print before slicing. As different filaments have different properties, it is worth doing this test for each of your filaments and marking it on the box. In this tutorial we have seen how to calibrate the X, Y and Z axis of our printer, and configured our step settings. We have also looked at how to calibrate our extruder to get an accurate flow rate. Finally we looked at how different filaments can affect the dimensions of our prints and how to correct them. Thank you for watching.